Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. We are on Vlogmas Day 5, and I wanna share with you guys what I got my kids for Christmas. So if you guys are new here, I have 10 children. I have two that are grown and out of the house. And then I also have three grandchildren. So I'm going to go over eight of the kids that I have in the house. I'm going to go over their gifts. So the older two kids um, are mainly like gift cards and stuff for them. Just because it's easier for them to go out and get some of the stuff that they like. It just works out a lot nicer that way. Um, and then as for uh, my daughter's husband, we do, uh, you know, I get them guys random gifts with gift cards with theirs. And then for my son's um, fiance, I will also get her a gift and possible gift card um, to other things also. So I won't be sharing any of that with you guys today, but that's that's usually what we do uh, for the older, older kids. Um, but I will share with you guys what I got three of the grand girls. So I will share with you that at the end of this video. With our Christmas shopping, I always do pretty much the same budget every single year for each child. So we do about $75 to $100 per child. So I end up spending, I think, well, with Christmas all together, like with, you know, extended and different things that I have to get so maybe around 15 to 1600 every Christmas that's usually my like budget amount that I try to stick with so some of the kids might have one or two things because as they get older their things cost more and more so with the little kids I can get a little bit more stuff just because of the price that I go with um, and I know a lot of other people like to shop throughout the year and get things and then just store it away uh, it just seems that my kids have a different change of interest by the time it's Christmas so I don't like to do that so at the end around I think like November or so is when I really start focusing on what I want to get them. So, you know, we get Amazon books in the mail. We get other random little, you know, Christmas books. Or I go to the store with them and I take pictures with them with the item. So I we did this, I think, last year too where we went to Walmart and the kids would hold up what they wanted. And I took a picture with that child and that helped me remember what that child wanted instead of like writing it down on a piece of paper and then me trying to figure out who wanted it and um, however that works. So that is what we do when it comes to that kind of stuff. All right, so when you see, you know, maybe some of the kids only have one or two things, that's exactly why. It's just the price of things and how things work. All right, so we're gonna start out with Gage. Gage wanted this picture from Hobby Lobby. So it's kind of sunny right there, but he wanted this one. He wants to be able to change his room up a little bit and start getting stuff like this. So that's what we got Gage. And then also on Amazon, we ended up buying him a sweatshirt and he wanted to return it and he wanted to get something different. So he ended up getting a different sweatshirt and this is what he wanted. He wanted a fox um sweatshirt so we are waiting for that to come in the mail there's a couple more things i think that we're waiting for so i will go over that as you know i go through everything with gage driving now he wanted stuff to go in his car and all car things so that's kind of what his theme is this year so this is just a little garbage can that will go in his car i don't know if it's waterproof or if he has to put little bags in there so he got he wanted that and then he also wanted, let me show you what I got here. Let's see if I can open this up. All right. So on his tire valves, he wanted these little Subaru um, little tire things. So I got him a package of that. And then he also wanted a Subaru lanyard. This is what he wanted. 
And then this is, he doesn't know about this, but he's really into plaid and into this color. So I found him some socks at Walmart. I think they were under five bucks. So I got him these. They are the double layer cozy socks aloe infused. So I got him some of them. And then I think, I think that's all we got gauged because the price of everything came up to around a hundred dollars. Unless I'm maybe off on that, but I'll have to go over that again and just make sure I got everything for everybody. All right, so now on to Eli. Eli wanted his own earbuds. We go through a lot of earbuds because I at like I find them at Menards or we just order them on Amazon and they just seem to not last with my kids. Um, so he wanted a really good pair this year and I think we spent over 60 some dollars uh, for these. So with his price being so high, he mainly got a pair of headphones and then I also got him a pair of socks the same as gauges except for this um but i also am going to be getting him something else i'm not quite sure yet um he hasn't really decided if there's anything else that he wanted uh, a lot of my kids also like treats and snacks for christmas too and with that they get to have it for themselves so usually when we buy stuff here we all share you know what we have but if they ask for a certain treat or whatever then it's theirs to keep so that might be what we're going to be doing with Eli well I should have went over their ages so Gage is 16 and then Eli is 14. we're going to move on to Hudson I'm going to show you something that he wanted and we're still waiting so his thing might not come until the end of December we got to figure that all out yet so Okay, I don't know if the background is bothering you guys. Hopefully it's not. I just noticed that it's like flickering like crazy. So hopefully that's not a bother to you guys. Um, so he wanted this Hedge Song plush banana man toy stuffed animal. My kids are really into stuffed animals. I don't know. This one's pretty different. But this is what he wanted. Let's see if I can. Uh, there we go. So that's what he wanted, and we are waiting for that. So that might not come until the end of um, December. He wanted this. It's a 3D vintage car. It's a wooden snap together. Um, you don't need glue or anything like that. It just pieces together like a little puzzle. Um, so the kids really like this. I think I did a video a while ago with them doing stuff like this. So they wanted another kit for Christmas. Okay, and then he also wanted a sweatshirt. My kids are really big into sweatshirts this year. I think they have one of everything. We, they got ones from church. They got ones from another YouTube channel that we watch and stuff like that. But they wanted, he wanted this one. And then he wanted this wizard carving kit. So it's a block of wood, and then he's able to carve out a wizard on there. So I thought that was super cool. I actually um, pointed it out to him one day because we were looking on Amazon for things, and I just thought it was really cool for him to, um, to be able to do this. So it comes with a little safety paper on there, and then it comes with blocks, a pencil, and I'm not quite sure let's see what does that do oh you put this on your fingers so you don't cut your fingers that's pretty cool i forgot to mention hudson's age so hudson is 12 um and then i also found him some stuff at walmart they're clear in their clearance aisle hudson likes character guys so from all different things like Fortnite and different um, things that they're interested in. He just likes to play with them every once in a while or collect them. So I got this um, C-3PO, Chewbacca, and then Kylo Ren. I found another guy laying over here. It is uh, the Jet Trooper. So we got him another one of them. Move on to Miles. Miles is 10 and he requested that he gets another wooden kit also so he got a car grand prix car so let's see how many pieces sometimes it tells you how many pieces are on here 220 pieces 
but it's usually pretty easy for the kids to put this together. They just really been into this lately. They really like it. Okay. So I got that and then I got one more thing and only because of the price. So he wanted, I'll tell you everything that this comes with in a second. A banjo or ukulele, that's what it's labeled as on Amazon. I didn't even take it out yet. So this is gonna be so much fun for him. Oh, it's all like wrapped up. Let me just show you. I wanted to have everything ready for you guys, but this I didn't want to take out of the package quite yet just because I don't want it broken. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is what he wanted. Now, I could have went out and bought him a more expensive one. I think I spent like 80 some dollars um, for this on Amazon. I know that if he is really interested in it, then we can invest in a better one. But we're gonna start out with this one first. And then let me show you what it all comes with. Okay. With this one, now I'll leave a link for this one down below. Hopefully they still have it. But this one came with a strap, a little cleaning wipe thing. This one, a tuner him with a little tuner and then I'm not sure what this one is but a wooden guitar pickup so it says that it solves many noise problems when playing the vibration signal is converted into an electrical signal which acts as a microphone so that also came with it and then he got three little picks to go with it so I really think he's gonna enjoy this and if he gets serious about it, maybe we can get him some lessons. Otherwise, we'll just go on um, go on YouTube and find someone that teaches it. So that's what we're going to go with. So I think he's going to love it. So that's all Miles got, just because of the price ended up coming up to around $100. So he got that. All right, so now we're going to move on to Declan. Declan is eight years old, and these are the things that he requested. I might have to get him one more thing just because of price-wise. Um, I was able to find things under budget, so he still has like a little bit of money left over where I can also pick him up something small. But like I said, a lot of the kids are requesting snacks so that might be his fill-in. So one of the things that Declan wanted, he wanted a spider remote control because he wants to be able to scare everybody with this. So we'll see how this goes. He wanted this little Batman guy. It's a light up Batman. Let's see if we can open it up quick. I'll show you a little bit better. I think he was thinking this was gonna be bigger. Um, but it's pretty cute so it lights up and I'm not sure how it works but that's how that's what he wanted all right and then he wanted this light up kit um th let's see I've never seen this before so I'm not quite sure what this is it comes in little pieces looking into this because it didn't make sense on what it was so all this is is a lighting system for a Lego set so I went back on Amazon and found the actual Lego set that Declan needs to be able to hook this up to so when we were picking this out we did not know that it needed the Lego set so now I'm not sure what he's going to want if we're gonna return this and get something different. Um, I am so glad that I'm able to look it over now because a lot of this stuff was like put in my room and I didn't look through it until today. So I'm just kind of learning about it right now. But we probably will end up bringing this back and unless he wants, you know, to get this Lego set. Um, but we'll see what happens with that one. He wanted a sloth and he got this. So big it is, it's nice and soft. And then he also wanted this Hot Wheels remote control car. So we got that. So that is what we got for Declan. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the twins. So let's start out with Nash. I got him, okay, this we ordered on Amazon. It's a double-sided lightsaber. 
so it's able to attach this is able to attach to the end and then it's extra long and then I think it also lights up so that is what he got he wanted a soft blanket I got this for 50% off at Hobby Lobby I spent I think around ten dollars for this all right he wanted a little fox stuffed animal so we found this on amazon i think this was around twenty dollars okay and then he wanted a star wars lego set and this is the one that he picked out this i saw at uh walmart so i was just going to walmart we were just looking over things and i saw that they had skates for a reasonable price i wanted to get them skates earlier in the year but i ended up not being able to find the ones that i wanted and they happen to have these there so this is um it's kind of like a two it is a two in one so they can do inline and quad combo um, you're able to switch out the wheels. Let's see if I can show you. So they have like the rollerblade style and then the regular ones. So they'll they'll like that. So that is what I got now. Move on to Lachlan. He wanted a Lego set, so we got him a uh, Avengers Lego set. He wanted this Lego set with Yoda and uh, the Mandalorian and the child. That's what we got. Um, hold on. Okay. And then he wanted a little dinosaur stuffed animal. I got him a remote control car. He wanted a wooden kit, so he got the medieval wheeled cannon. And then he also got the skate. So I was able to find both of them. I think I spent $25 to $30 for the roller skates at Walmart. Okay, so that is all I got for the boys. Now let's move on to Evelyn. Evelyn is three years old. And with Evelyn, she is good at playing with, um, like, random toys that she has in her room she is a very good player um but i wanted to get things that she could just pull out and play with like maybe at the table or um just using her imagination and stuff so here are the things that i got for her one of the things she wanted while we were looking up stuffed animals she ended up finding this little girly fox stuffed animals so we got her that and when I was putting away the Christmas gifts, I accidentally left something behind and she found it. And it actually wasn't for her. It was supposed to be for my granddaughter, but she wanted this one. So we're going to have her have this one and then my granddaughter will have the other one because she said she wanted the red haired one. Um, so we got her that. And then I got her the Melissa and Doug Velcro food set. And this one is the cookie play set and you take these cookies and they the tops of them velcro off and it comes with like a cooking pan and you're able to put them in this canister right there so we got her that one and then I got her the triple layer party cake with us making so many cakes this year I think it would be fun for her to play with this when we do make cakes um, and then she can use her imagination with that also. But I will leave a link down below. I think I got a lot of these on Amazon. I did see that they did have some at Hobby Lobby also. Um, but I did get these from Amazon. And I'll, if I can, with all the Amazon things that I got, I will leave links for down below if I remember. All right. So the next one I got for her is the wooden pizza. So she'll have fun with that. I think it even, yep, it comes with a little pizza cutter too. So that'll be fun for her. Um, I got her a little red barn. I think this one, is, yeah, this one is a Melissa and Doug one also. The door's open and the, I think it's called Folding Gold Barn. So it opens up like this. It comes with a ladder. There's a little 
see if I can show you guys. I know it's hard to see. Comes with a ladder and then some other wooden pieces in here. And then some horses and animals also. I think she's going to really, really, really like this one. And then also at Walmart, I found her some roller skates. So this is size 11 to 2. And she is around size 10 in shoes, 9, 10 in shoes. Um, but with roller skates, this will be this will be fine. This will fit her well. So I got her these. And hers were cheaper actually than Nash and Lachlan's. Hers were like $24 or something like that. So that is what Evelyn got for Christmas. So one of the extra gifts that I got, this is just kind of like a random one, but I saw it on Amazon and I thought it would really be cool for homeschooling. It comes with a bunch of cards and it teaches them how to read and write. So they pick a card and then they have to um, find the letters on the dice to match it up. I thought that was super cool. So we got that. That's just kind of a like random throw it in there. I'm going to move on to my grandchildren. I'm going to start out with the younger one this time. So for my youngest grandchild, she's three years old. She's the same age as Evelyn. Found this at Walmart and I thought that would be fun for her to play with. This will be her own little set other than her sisters, you know, taking over her toys. So I thought that would be fun for her. And then for um, the other two, I found these two princesses uh let's see which one we got this tangled and this one is the, um the movie from brave and then for my youngest grandchild she has this one and this one was the one that evelyn found first this one was supposed to be for evelyn um but she found this one and we're just gonna go with it so this is for my youngest granddaughter and I ended up finding, I think they were like $5 a piece. They are, I move and sound like a real hamster. And they love little animals. So I got a pack of three. This one I think is the only one that's a different color. So I got them. Them. I got them some kinetic sand. And inside you dig out certain like fossils and stuff in there. And then they just collect them. So the girls like stuff like this. So I got them that. I also got them uh, this set here, it's matching letter set, because they homeschool and I thought this would be good for the girls to um, learn with that too. All right, I got two things, two sets of earrings. I have one set, here, let's see if I can show you. This I got on Amazon, this I got at Walmart. This is for, they, Two of them have their ears pierced. One of them was having a problems with their ears, so we ended up getting some clip-on ones, and these are regular earrings uh, from Walmart. So that's what we got. And then I got them some diamond art. It's a 46-piece diamond art set. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, different ones in there. Uh, so this is going to be for them to share. I also got them some mermaids, and this they also are going to share, and they can just use it in the bathtub. I found them some chapstick, little pineapple chapstick. I think I'm going to go and get another one because I think... The other one might be kind of sad that I didn't get her one. So I think I have to go get another one of them. Okay, so for one of the grandchildren, I got a little pocket volcano. They're really into that kind of stuff. All right, I also got them some water beads. I don't know what orbs. They call them orbs too. I got each one of them a pack of them. And then for my youngest granddaughter that doesn't have the earrings, I got her a little hair clips. And I also got the girls three necklaces. It says share one, wear one, and share one. So I figured for all three of them, they could, you know, have one of them. So I thought that was really cute. And this I got at Walmart. 
Alright, so that's pretty much everything that I got everybody. Yeah, I still have some things that I'm waiting for and then also whatever else that I need to do as for fill-ins. I know some of the grandchildren wanted, um, my daughter told me that they wanted gum and their own packs of gum and stuff like that. So we do like to tie in a lot of treats and snacks to their Christmas stuff um, just because they can have it for their own. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. I hope I'm not missing anything. Um, I like being able to do this because that really makes me see what everybody has and then kind of go through to see if I need to get any more stuff or if everything is just fine the way it is. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.